Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be explaining how I got my job at MTV and sort of what I do here. And I'll also be giving you sort of a brief overview of my background. So without further ado, here we go. When I was an undergrad at Bard College, I did a double major where I studied anthropology, specializing in community development post-disaster. And I also studied film production where I specialized in digital media, film, and documentary production. During my summers in undergraduate, I made sure to get a lot of diverse career and internship experience. My first internship was in New Orleans at Entergy with their talent management team. My second internship was in New York at BET Networks with their television program planning and scheduling team. My third internship was in California with Google and their Google Bold internship program. With them, I interned with YouTube and their online content partnerships and development team. And I'll film a video on each of those internships individually, but for now, this video is just about what I'm doing currently at MTV so, Network. And also, in addition to me interning during the summers when I was an undergrad, I made sure to continue to get career experience whenever I would be on Bard College's campus. So during undergrad, I was also president of Board on Television, which is a film production club. I was the social media assistant for the Office of Publications at Bard College. I was a HANA RN Center Fellow. I was also a Citizen Science Fellow. I was a lab monitor. I was a freelance photographer and filmmaker. I just made sure to constantly be gaining diverse skills and policies because I knew like eventually you graduate from college and I wanted to have as diverse skills as possible. So yeah, I graduated from Bard this past May in 2018, and after graduation, I moved to New York City. When I first moved here, I had no idea what to do. I'm from New Orleans originally, and I literally had no knowledge about living in New York City. In addition, it was very hard for me finding employment after college graduation. So during the summer of 2018, I found myself doing a lot of freelancing. Uh, I did a lot of freelance photography, I did a lot of freelance film. I was able to luckily do a lot of freelance work with Nylon Magazine and also just like my personal work. I did some brand strategy for a brand called Ivy University. I just made sure to always have sort of a means of income and thanks to like my undergrad experience and my internship experience, I had that knowledge to make sure that I was giving someone sort of assets or whatever help that they needed. So fast forward to October of 2018 and I still found myself unemployed. It was very confusing to me because I was like, I interned at Google, I interned at YouTube, I interned at BET. I did so much on campus during undergrad, I did a double major and I also went to a prestigious liberal arts school. So why am I so unemployed? Um, but, and I was very depressed for a very long time because it was six months or so since I had graduated and I still didn't have a full-time job and it made me feel very bad. But as I said before, I was freelancing, so I still had a lot of income and I was still getting paid and still networking. Um, and one thing I made sure to do was constantly network with people. I was constantly on LinkedIn. I was always going to different networking events. And sort of that's sort of how I found my way in my recent position at MTV. It just so happened that one day I was scrolling through my LinkedIn timeline and I saw somebody in my LinkedIn network post something saying like, so it was sort of like, hi, I'm leaving my current role at MTV. I'm looking for someone to interview immediately because we need to get this position filled because I guess that person had put in like their two weeks and it was ending or something. So of course me, I'm like, I'm sitting here unemployed and freelancing. So why not? I, I interned at Viacom, which is the parent of MTV. I was like, I was with BET two years ago. So let me just apply to MTV and see if I get it. So I emailed that person because they left their contact information. I emailed that person with my resume. And I was like, hi, like I interned at Google before. I was at YouTube and I was also at Viacom. Like I was at your company before with BET. So I think I'll be really beneficial if I can also work at MTV. I mean, of course I didn't say those words exactly. It was a lot more professional than that. But basically after I sent that email, she sort of replied immediately and then we had a phone call and during the phone call she sort of asked me a typical interview questions such as can you give me an overview of your background so i was like yeah i interned at google i interned at youtube i interned at bet i interned at Entergy. i did this and this during undergrad i studied this major and then she was asking me questions like do you have experience editing i'm like of course i do i was a film major and she was like do you have experience like talking to people and i was like i do and she sort of just continued to ask me different sort of behavioral questions such as can you give me an example 
of a time where you have to reach a deadline, but you were working on something, how did you, you know, time manage your two projects or whatever? So I just gave for examples of like different projects I worked on when I was interning at Google. And sort of after that initial phone call, she sent me an email. After that initial phone call, I made sure to send a follow-up email. You should always send a follow-up email, no matter if it's a phone interview, in person, just make sure that you express how much you would like to be a part of whatever organization or whatever you're trying to join. Follow-up emails are just very important to send. So about a day later, I actually got a call back from my current manager and we sort of had the same interview that I had before with the previous person. But in addition to that interview, she asked me to complete an assignment where basically I would go and look for talent and I would sort of pitch a series because the team I'm with is the MTV talent casting and series development team. So I just had to do that mini project. And then about a week later, I had that in-person interview. So then about a week later when I had my in-person interview, we sort of went over that project I'd done. I had created a deck of talent I was pitching to MTV Network and I also created like a series of log lines of potential uh, program that we put in development. And so we had a really great interview, which is hence why I got hired. And then I sort of started my job at MTV. So currently what I'm doing is that I'm with the MTV talent casting and series development team. My team mostly works with unscripted programming, so shows like AC such as Jersey Shore, The Digital Family Reunion, X on the Beach, Are You the One, Little Hands Beach Club. Like we sort of help to cast those people in an unscripted, and we also help to pitch future unscripted programming. Y'all see that lighting? Like, ooh. But yeah, so now that I've sort of explained how I got my job at MTV Networks, I'll be giving y'all a tour of the office or at least the spaces that I'm allowed to film. So let's just hop into that tour. This is my ID. I look like a piece of poo, a piece of fried poo in my ID. 